Greetings guys, it's Jurgis. Hopefully you're doing well. As you can see, I'm about at home right now. I'm in the prayer shed. And I thought I'd use the opportunity of getting outside in the beautiful sunshine and and look cool though. And um, give a few moments to speak with you guys. It'll be a short video, I hope. Although, you know, I tend to be a little bit wordy sometimes, which is why you might see some of my editing a little abrupt on my videos. Um, I have been blessed to get a permission to return to uh, Marathos um, to celebrate Pascha uh, this year. April 14th, 15th, and 16th, I'm going to, uh, God willing, be going back to Mount Athos. Um, I'll be traveling with my um, godson, Porphyrius. Uh, but this year's gonna be a little bit different because in the past I've gone by myself. And of course, you know, the first time I went as a Protestant mm -hmm. and the second time I went as an Orthodox. And I'm still trying to work out my, um, where I'm gonna stay. So in the background, you might hear uh, some noise. I apologize for that. They're taking down a tree and they're uh, pulverizing the branches and so they're chipping it. So if you hear that, I'm sorry. But um, in the past, uh, my second trip, I reached out and I asked you guys for some uh, suggestions and you lovingly gave me a recommendation for St. John the Baptist in Essex, England and I was extremely blessed by that experience. And so this is gonna be a trip in which um, I'm gonna be taking with um, Porphyrius two weeks off. But we're gonna fly into Venice, and Venice is about a 12 hour drive to Thessaloniki. And, um, and I have not been in Eastern Europe before, and so I received a blessing to um, visit a monastery in Kosovo, which I've never been to before, which is a Serbian church, and it's a uh, UNESCO um, heritage site. Abbot there has graciously allowed um, us to spend a night there. And so outside of um, that one monastery in Kosovo and going to Mount Athos, I'm pretty open. And so I'm reaching out to you to, to see if you have some suggestions. Um, an update, I do attend a Serbian church now, a Serbian Orthodox church. So I guess the way this has worked out, and um, if you're, it's kind of funny because um, a little off. This is why my videos are always so long and they're edited. Um, when I first went to Mount Athos um, as a Protestant, um, God placed in my pathways of uh, Nicola, who you guys might have uh, heard me talk to on my first trip to Mount Athos. And he kind of like took me under his wing and he kind of like helped me. But he was an American who had born in Serbia and during the war, his parents and him went to the U.S. to Wisconsin and he was back in Helendar. And so I saw my second trip to Helendar. But my point being, there's no way that I would have thought when I went to Mount Athos the first time as a um, Protestant, a Calvinist, no, no less, um, that I would be now uh, attending a Serbian church because I don't have an ethnic connection. But in looking back on how God has placed people in my life, um, Nicola being one, and of course the Serbian church here, uh, St. Mary of Egypt, Father Turbo, uh, being a blessing to me as well, it's amazing how um, God opens doors when we kind of think that, no, I don't think so because I'm not really that nationally, uh, ethnically. It just makes the scene, it just makes it uh, wonderful because I'm going through Serbia. And so if you have any ideas of Eastern Europe, um, please um, feel free to reach out to me or leave a comment here. And my email address is orthodoxgardener at yahoo.com. Feel free to reach out to me if you want to for this or any other reason, actually. I'm, I enjoy meeting or, or speaking or communicating with many of you. So it's been a blessing to me. And I look forward to hearing from you. And you guys have a wonderful day. Glory to God. I'll talk to you later.